when we write closed source code for our customers and they bring in an auditor, we used to be very nervous of that process. And now we're actively interested in where we've made mistakes. And I think that attitude is really important for any developer is a bit of humility and a bit of understanding that the code that you write is continually awful and get other people to inspect it. Welcome to CTIO 101 podcast episode for open source strategy, sponsored by Fairmont Recruitment, hiring technology professionals across the UK and Europe. Whether that's your pair developer that you work with every day, you know, on a code, if that was inspected at the time it was written, it would be of yeah. higher quality. You've got inspection running against your code and we use Visual Studio, which is a fantastic bit of software. Got now static code inspection built in, so it will assess the quality of your code as you write it security code scan, which is a free thing. Anyone that uses Visual Studio should have it in all their projects. And it's just there inspecting you for security bad practices. It might not be intentional. You might have accidentally left a password somewhere, but it yeah. will tell you about Those tools are, are hugely valuable. When you've got these third-party auditors coming in to look at your code, they will, again, they'll run static code inspection, but they might look a bit more carefully and do some penetration testing and do all kinds of things that you yeah. wouldn't do yourself. Uh, while you're developing it. So I, I think the message here is it doesn't matter whether it's open or closed, the more eyes and the more processes that inspect your code for flaws, as early in the process as possible, as includes as you're writing it, the better. CTIO 101, business technology, simplified and shared. Subscribe now. Sponsored by Fairmont Recruitment, hiring technology professionals across the UK and Europe.